inside of the cage. Pickney versus Carrillo, lightweight title, underway here at EFC 7. And one, two, right off the bat. Pickney in the black with the green trim. Carrillo in the black with the pink. Cody throws a great straight right. Because it comes a little bit over the top. Yeah, uh, the footwork is what's always continually impressive about Carrillo. He's always moving. He's always angular. He's a very hard target to hit. That's why he can move around with his hands down like that. Did, yeah. you, did you hear the entrance music he came out to? How can you not want to move? <laughs> that had me move. Yeah, kids watching at home, if you are not as good on your feet, don't even think about putting your hands that low. Yeah, you... You Pickney. definitely don't start as a beginner with your hands that low. <laughs> Pickney is staying very aggressive on Carrillo here in the early round of round number one. He has Carrillo pressed up against the cage. Throwing at a few short uppercuts there, trying to get a little bit more control. One with the uh, underhook on one arm, trying to work in the other. Carrillo trying to control his body position. Cody just used his head really well yeah. to turn him turn him over. Very yeah. nice reverse. It'll put Pickney back up against the cage. Oh, they Ooh. release. Nice left hook on the separation. Maria catches him with a nice shot coming out of that clinch. Good. These guys are setting up shots. That's what I like to see. Cody is always thinking in there. Like a chess match. <laughs> That's why see both the of these guys. Right there from Cody oh, nice shot. But Pickney responds back with a couple of his own to the champ. These guys are showing the technique worthy of a, of a champion. Both of them look great on their feet. Both of them moving. Both of them seem to be light right now. Come on, Cody. Couple of nice exchanges between these guys right now. Yeah, Pickney is right there. He's, he's just barely outside of range, but if he connects, if he gets that range figured out, those big right hands are gonna add up. Couple of nice, couple of, oh, one right there. big shot that immediately opens the blood from Cody Carrillo's nose right there. Big shot from Pinkney. For me, it's kind of been a, whose right hand is gonna land first? Man, yeah. Cody Carrillo landed a nice couple one-two combinations, and then Pinkney fired right back and opened up the blood floodgates on that nose. Like you said, they're both using that left hand oh, to set up that big that was, right hand. That was a really good setup on the takedown as well. Good peppering shots, followed by a good double leg. We're, see, we're seeing a lot of high, high level. Has Pickney in a guillotine right now. Trying to go for that choke. See those eyes of Pickney kind of getting big. He's turning on it. He must think he's got something. Does Cody Carrillo have the angle and the strength to finish this from the no. bottom right now? The only problem is if he doesn't, his arms are definitely going to feel it in a five-round fight. He is going to gas himself out if he cannot get the finish right here early. And he's out. See that move now. He moves into full, full guard. This is not where Carrillo wants to be with Pickney just laying on him, looking to raise up and land some shots. Yeah, Pickney a little bit, little bit bigger, a little bit stronger opponent for Cody Carrillo. But Cody Carrillo is not unused to that. He's, he's never the oversized opponent typically in a fight. Camp goes to the other side. I think he's using that, he's mostly using that guillotine to control. He doesn't want uh, Dewan to posture up and land big shots. Yeah, absolutely. He's trying to keep the head down as close to his body as humanly possible. But again, that weighs a lot on your, your arms. That's a lot of oh, bicep work. Absolutely. Less, less than a minute to go here in round number one here in this lightweight title fight here at when, EFC 7. When I'm on body, I try to be kind of like water. I try to make the guy on top work more than me. That's a great metaphor. That's a great, great metaphor right there, Dave, man. Call me Bruce Lee, son. <laughs> Bruce Lee, son. Oh. <laughs> Cody Carrillo trying to use that elevator. It picked me up off of him. We got 25 seconds left in the round. I imagine Dewan's gonna try to end it with some big shots. Pickney's just trying to raise up and lay in some heavy leather on Carrillo. But Carrillo's Good. trying to keep him close with that head control. 10 seconds to go here in round one. End of round one right there.
right there. And one, one interesting thing we haven't seen is a lot of elbows from our pros. We haven't seen a lot of elbows from the pros. And we know Cody likes to use elbows. I, I, I imagine if, if he gets an opportunity standing up, we're gonna see some elbows. Cody loves elbows, stomps. Man, we had some Thumps. vicious finishes though. We've had some great finishes. The standing tonight. arm and guillotine. That was amazing. That was <laughs> head and arm like, choke, oh, whatever you want to call it. The head and arm choke from the standing position. That was very impressive. Machido. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> we know what happened with Machido when he got there. <laughs> and I'd have to I, say I guess that that's all thanks to you, though, Dave Rickles. Thank you for being such a fantastic matchmaker and making these fights so interesting. Man, you know, I'm trying to make the best matches I can. I know all of these guys in this area, so it's really fun to, to kind of match them together and see what, what plays out. What are you giving that first round? 10-9-15 uh, by, uh, by a hair? Yep, definitely. I thought the striking was really, really close, but you've got to finish with the guy on top landing shots. Here we go, start of round number two of the possible five. Pickney versus Carrillo for the lightweight title. Carrillo comes out with a bicycle kick to start the beginning of round two. But got caught, but comes back. Got caught with a big shot from Pickney, but responds with a shot of his own. Big technical kicks. Nice head movement by the champ. These Pickney shoots in on him. I just want to point out, when you see Cody moving to his left like that into Pickney's power, he's also moving back and to the left. You can't just go straight to the left. you got to create space and then move left. If you do it then, it's correct. If you just go left, you're in a world of hurt. You can see Pickney with the level change, and he tries Real to track on Carrillo, him. but Carrillo. Pickney obviously thinks this guillotine may be a little tight. He used it to turn him. Carrillo again with that head turn, making easy work of getting that position on the cage. Like deja vu from round number one. Yeah, he felt a little threatened by that guillotine and, and allowed uh, Cody to turn him. <laughs> the champ separates and then lands a couple shots, but Pickney responds with a huge bomb to Carrillo. Another big shot from DeWan Pickney to Cody Carrillo. He goes with the level change, and this time, he gets it. So far, I'm pretty, impre pretty impressed with Pickney. He's been very, very calm. Just kind of a, a, a constant stock of Cody Carrillo, setting up great shots, big, heavy right hands, and he's got Cody on the mat one more time after after punishing him, standing up. Yeah, Pickney is, uh, you know, I think after the first round, he, he found that, that takedown, and he sees a weakness, so he keeps exploiting it. He's feeling a lot more comfortable. He's, he's, he's in this fight to win it, obviously. There's no back down in Dewan Pinckney. He is the real deal, definitely. And Cody Carrillo is finding that out here at EFC 7. Cody Carrillo is a man just full of tricks. Even when he's on bottom, it seems like he's in danger. Watch out, because he's still dangerous at every moment in every fight. Dewan Pinckney said, I'm gonna give it 100, whether I win, lose, or it's a draw. I believe said, it. I'm gonna come out here and give it a hundred. He said Cody Carrillo is gonna get a fight. See, Dewan is back on his feet. Let's Cody Carrillo get back up to his feet. Oh, shot right there from Pickney. Kind of rocked the champ. Cody yeah. has to keep his range. He's got to get back to his footwork. Pickney goes in for another level change and looks to drop the champ again for the second time here in round number two. Yeah, as soon as Cody runs out of cage, Pickney is finding him and starting to pick him apart a little bit. Cody needs to find something to build some momentum. It's big in fights like this, man. He, he's a little bit tired right now, but but watch. If he can find something that builds a little momentum, he's right back in the fight. Couple of big shots right there from Pickney to the champ. <laughs> what can Carrillo do to weather this storm of DeWad Pickney? Champ is going to have to do something explosive here to change the momentum in this fight. See, the champ tries to sneak out the back, and then possibly... He's gonna have to watch. 
his way up. Yeah, he's got to keep control of those wrists. Keep his arms trapped where they can't slide up oh. into a choke around his neck. Nasty knee to the backside of Cody Carrillo from DeWatt Pitney. Those aren't going to drop a guy typically, but what they do do to a guy like Cody Carrillo is take away that mobility. And you can't fight if you can't walk. Jesus. Carrillo's just trying to do anything, trying to get from underneath them double hooks. Tries to land a knee. No, Cody's, Cody's great on the wall, and this is where he loves to slip in those elbows and knees. Right there. That was a little short hook, but that can change it to an elbow and a heartbeat. And Dewan is definitely being the more physical fighter. Definitely. As he gets the third takedown in this fight. Less than 10 seconds to go here in round number two. In this lightweight title fight here at EFC 7. Carrillo versus Pitney. Wow, pretty impressive. You know, scheduled for, fresh. He, scheduled for five rounds, but that's uh, two rounds so far to Pickney. And Pickney, wow, just slamming down just, on that stool. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> He's a little tired. That gas meter is starting to trickle down to well, empty. Well, one thing those takedowns will do is take some gas out of you, man. If you're constantly pushing into a guy, happen to pick him. Uh, no, we're talking about picking up a what is now 165 170 pound fighter up into the air. Yeah. And you do that seven or eight times throughout two rounds, plus when the guy is good on his back like Cody Carrillo is, and he's negating everything that you're trying to throw at him submission wise, take that and add it to those takedowns. You're gonna be extra tired. If, <laughs> Sit down if on your I'm in like Cody's uh, corner though, he has to find some footwork. He's got to find some footwork and find his jab. Big can't keep for throwing the one two. Oh, Pickney's timing it with the right hand. Cody Carrillo is definitely going to have to switch the momentum in this fight. Big round coming up right now for Cody. Round three underway. Carrillo versus Pitney. Carrillo in the black with the pink. Dewad in the black with the green. The Carrillo comes out with a couple of feints. Trying to catch Dewad off guard. Champ is definitely not backing down, even though the first two rounds most likely went to Pickney on the cards. But you can see there is no quit in the champ. That is Cody Carrillo. But that's experience, man. I mean, even in his last title fight against uh, Pfeiffer, he got dropped and came back and won. The wad with the takedown on Carrillo. Winds up in side control on the champ. What can Pickney do from this position? What he needs to do is, is get Cody Carrillo's left knee out of his, out of his side there. See Cody kind of stretch him out, trying to keep control of those arms, keep him out of full mount. See that mouth of Cody's is wide open. He's breathing heavy, trying to get that oxygen down to them lungs. Got a big heavy dude sitting on top Man. of him right now. That's hard to breathe. That takes a lot out of you. Especially when they start to lay in the leather to the side of their body. Them body shots start to weigh on you after a while. Come on, Corey. You know, like you mentioned earlier, Dave, Cody has done an excellent job of keeping control, clasping those hands, and keeping, keeping a tight grip, controlling the posture of, of, of uh, Pickney. See, Pickney's working, but not doing a whole lot. He goes for a big shot. Cody Carrillo reverses field on him. This might be the move that Cody Carrillo needed to get himself back in this fight right now. Well, it was definitely, I'll tell you this, it was definitely a big opportunity. Nothing came of it, Looks but like it definitely was a chance. Might be thinking about a Kimura right now. Hard, Hard to see from this angle. Yeah, our angle doesn't give us much. 
But he's at least using it to control Pigme. He's gonna, it looks like he's gonna let it go. Carrillo comes down with that wiping elbow to the side of Pigme's head. And if you can get one of those land elbows to land, sweep across the forehead in close, get him to bleed, you know, that can take a lot of wind out of a fighter's sails if, he, if you can open him up. That gives him one extra thing to worry about. He's got to protect that area even more. Wow. Oh, he's Cody got a Carrillo yeah, that's deep. with the nice guillotine. Can he finish the one back. Pickney? Wow. Cody Carrillo's trying to flatten him out. Does he have the angle to finish the run here in round number three? Can exactly he the opportunity do it? that he's been looking for. Ah! Oh. Pickney gets out. If he can keep his position. Another elbow. Pickney got out, but he gave up his back. Cody goes Carrillo straight into the moon naked. over into the RMC. Wow, this is, this is a very bad spot from who, a person who was winning the fight in Dewan Pickney. If Cody Carrillo can flatten Pickney out, Pickney is going to be in trouble. You can see Carrillo try to get that hook in and flatten the line out. It's in tight. It is in tight. You can see the wall. 